അസ്സാം വലൈക്കും വരഹമത്തുല്ലാഹി വബർക്കാത്തു ഇൻ ദ നെയിം ഓഫ് അള്ളാഹ് മോസ്റ്റ് ക്രേഷ്യസ് മോസ്റ്റ് മർസിഫുൾ ഓൾ പ്രൈസ് ആൻഡ് താങ്ക്സ് ആർ ഡ്യൂ ടു അള്ളാഹ് മൈ ഡിയർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ടുഡേ ഇസ് മൈ ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ലൈഫ് ഓഫ് ഫാത്തിമ റസുല്ലാഹ് തആലാൻഹ ഫാത്തിമ റസുല്ലാഹ് തആലാൻഹ വാസ് ദ യങ്ങസ്റ്റ് ടോച്ചർ ഓഫ് പ്രോഫറ്റ് മുഹമ്മദ് സല്ലല്ലാഹു അലൈഹി വസല്ലം ആൻഡ് ഹിസ് wife khadija razallah ta'ala anha and she was the mother of the great martyrs of islam hassan and hussein razallah ta'ala anha fatima razallah ta'ala anha was the fourth and most favorite daughter of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam she was born in makka fatima razallah ta'ala anha was also bestowed with many titles az zahra means the lady of light She also had the title Al-Batul referring to her pure character Al-Siddiqa the truthful one Al-Mubaraka the bla- the blessed one My friends if we see her short life we can see that she is the role model for the woman of all ages in terms of kindness patience and righteousness Fatima Razala Talan how was well known for her gentle personality she was generous helping the poor and needy often she would give her food away even if it mean going hungry herself she lived a very simple and humble life without any care of for luxurious my friends Fatima Razala Talan had inherited genius and wisdom the determinations and will power pity generously and devotions and worships to allah self sacrifice and hospitality forbearance and patience knowledge and nobility of dispositions of her illustrious father both in words and in actions my friends fatma razallah taala naha had three sister named Zainab bint Muhammad Kulsum and Ruqayya radhiyallahu ta'ala anha she also had three brothers named Qasim radhiyallahu ta'ala anha Abdullah radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and Ibrahim radhiyallahu ta'ala anha but all of her brothers died in childhood my friends Fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha was only 5 years old when her father began receiving the revelations from god he was sent as a messenger to all of mankind the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught fatima razallah ta'ala anha divine knowledge and endowed her with a special intellectual brilliance so much so that she realized the true meaning faith piety the reality of islam my friends what at an early age she wi- she witnessed her father be the target of horrible abuse and harassment from those who opposed him she constantly saw how her revered father was mistreated by the unbelievers and later how she herself fell a victim to the same abuse Fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha suffered a lot of hardships and troubles she visited the masjid al haram with the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as he began to pray a group of quraish gathered around him a member of the clan fitch the remains of a slaughter animals and threw it on the shoulders of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam whilst he was prostrating fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha however did not stand back she removed the filth from her father's and angrily lashed out at the enemies a girl who was not even 10 years old silenced a group of brutes my friends after the death of her mother khadija razallah taala anha fatima razallah taala anha took an a greater role of caring for her father who was enduring 
a very difficult pain and sadness. The motherly blessing and affections received by Fatima Razala were only for five years, after which Khadija Razala left for her heavenly home. The Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, brought her up thereafter. Fatima Razala was called as Zahra means the lady of light because her light used to shine among those in the heaven. After arriving in Medina, she was married to Ali Razala in the first year of Hijra. Fatima Razala is a famous and acknowledged as the Sayyid Tulnisa one Alameen, leader of all the women of the world for all time, because the prophethood of Muhammad وسلم, would not have been everlasting without her. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the perfect example for men, but could not be so for women. For all the words revealed in the Holy Quran for women, Fatima Razala is the perfect model who translated every verse into action in her lifetime. She was a complete woman, being a daughter, wife, and mother at the same time. Fatima Razala has spent her entire life as a pious servant of Allah always patient and grateful to her maker. There was not a word of complaint for her. Her motto in life, always service for Islam. In the battle, she was at the front nursing the wound, the sick, when her father was injured in the battle of Uhud. It was she who burnt a part of a straw mat and used its ashes to stem the flow of blood. My friends, one hadith, there is a narration in Sahih al-Bukhari that when the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was asked on one occasion whom he loved best in the world, he named his youngest daughter Fatima Razallah As a daughter, she loved her parents so much that she won their love and regard to such an extent that the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to stand up whenever she came to him. When Fatima Razala Anha came of age, a number of hopeful sought her hand in marriage. The Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, awaiting the divine order in this respect until Imam Ali Anha approached him and asked for him asked for her hand in marriage. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, came to Fatima Anha and asked my my daughter, do you concern to be wedded to Ali? Anha. Fatima Razalatalahan Anha thereupon bowed her head in modesty. Um Salma narrates the following Fatima's face. Fatima bloomed with joy and her silence was so suggestive. The Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, stood up to shout Allahu Akbar, Allah is the great. Fatima's silence is her acceptance. My dear friends, Muhammad وسلم, set, an, set an example that before the marriage of girl to get her concerned, which is not a very common today. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam took her concern before saying yes to Ali Razallah ta'ala anha. My friends, her children, Imam Hassan Razallah ta'ala anha and Imam Hussain Razallah ta'ala anha, Zainab Razallah ta'ala anha and Umm Kulsum Razallah ta'ala anha are well known for their pity, righteousness and generosity, their strength of character character and actions changed the course of history and forfeited Islam, which 
otherwise would have been lost to mankind my friends as a wife she was a very devoted she never asked ali rizallah taala and her for anything in her entire life as a mother she cared for and brought up wonderful children one hadith sahih al bukhari hadith number 3767 the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said fatima is a part of me who ever makes her angry makes me angry my friends when the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam returned from a journey he sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to pray two rakats in the mosque and then visit to fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala in her house before his wives my friends mother of believer aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala has said book al adab al mufrid number 947 i have not seen anyone who more resemble the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam she not only looked like him but her way of speaking sitting and walking in other words all her mannerism and gestures were exactly like his whenever her father visited her she would receive him and kiss his forehead with respect they were exceptionally close to each other and whenever she visited her father he would stand up and receive her if he saw her trouble or sad he would also be grieved and if he saw her happy he would also be pleased my friends fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha fell in fell ill soon after the death of messengers sallallahu alaihi wasallam she was 27 years old at the time of her death fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha caring nature for her father lasted her entire lifetime from when she was just a child she cared deeply for him she was a hard working wife who looked after the home her husband and her four children she still made time to assist the larger muslim community taking care of the need of the people as much as she could my friends despite being a busy with family life fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala and has still dedicated herself to the muslim com- community in madina along with other women she played a key role in the battles of uhud the role of woman is regul- uh, regularly debate, uh, debated in our society we see how fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha took on many and all of them exceptionally well my friends the richest woman of makka khadija radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and her youngest daughter fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha stood like rocks by their fathers they would give their lives for him fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and her mother khadija radhiyallahu ta'ala anha's life is an example for today's women she not, she was not only she not only did the housework well but also did the work outside my friends fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha is a role model for all muslim women she had the best of the best personality characteristic which she largely acquired from her father like courage patience will power and above all complete faith in almighty allah we should follow her life style in our daily life and also in all types of matters of our life my friends her life is also an example for those who say that islam does not give the rights to women and islam oppressed women this is Islam which gave women so much rights from 1400 year ago while at the time of women were considered inferior or rather even not considered as a human
after the advent of Islam, a new system and a new law were introduced, which honored women, gave women the rights to equality in society. Okay, my friends, see you again with some new topics. Allow me till then. Allah Hafiz.